And welcome to another episode of Ask Alan Anything about publishing or marketing your book. We're glad that you've joined us this afternoon or this evening or whatever time you're happening and watching the show. It is 8 p.m. Central on Wednesday nights that we do the show live on Facebook. And then we put up the edited version on the Indie Beacon radio show page on Facebook and other sources. At any time, you're more than welcome to, um, if you're watching on Zoom, to go down to the bottom of your screen using your mouse. You'll see the Q&A, click on it, and you'll be able to ask questions there, and I will answer them from time to time. If you want to ask questions um, that happen not to be during the course of the show, feel free to email me at bourgeoismedia at outlook.com. Bourgeois is spelled B as in boy, O-U-R-G-E. O-I-S, and the word media, at Outlook.com. So right now, um, we're going to start off with a subject matter that has been a recent development. On May 1st, a distribution company by the name of Baker Taylor announced that it was pulling itself out of the wholesale distribution network. What that means is they used to be a distributor for all types of books, whether it be indie authors, and or um, traditional published or schools or um, anything. Um, they were not a cheap distributor. Um, if you happen to have a book, they do charge a lot. But they have decided once um, Follett had purchased them last year to reorganize themselves. So they are focused in on the educational aspect only as a book distributor. That means that all the traditional publishing houses, um, any authors, cannot use them anymore as a distribution source. So you are stuck with basically at this time, one company to be your distribution source, and that's Ingram. Um, Ingram is part of the Lightning Source, Ingram Spark, all those different companies rolled up into one um, beside Tennessee. Now, as of right now, Ingram has said, we're not changing anything. We have no plans to change anything other than to make sure that we can handle the distribution for the authors that are listed in their system and or other authors that want to be part of their system. With that said, I don't trust them. That's just me. Um, I have seen through history that when one company controls a particular segment of a business, that prices go up, service goes down, and you're stuck having to pay for it. And that's just not good business for the people that count on it. Um, again, we've seen this throughout history for well over 200 years that America has been around. Um, that's why there's the antitrust laws that exist and things of this nature. Now, with that said, um, there are lots of conversations out there for people to create a new distribution center. There are small distribution centers that are local, um, that are thinking about possibly growing to handle the nationwide distribution. Um, but that takes time. That takes a lot of money and effort to put together and to be recognized in that way. In the meantime, Ingram's got the monopoly on that, and I'm sure they're going to work it as much as they possibly can to make sure that they come out the winner in this program. Um, I can't blame them. I mean, it's a given opportunity to them, and they'd be fools not to take advantage of it. But with you know, as I said earlier, I don't trust them as far as not increasing pricing or restricting certain distribution abilities and things of that nature. So keep it, watch out. We will be addressing that from time to time in the show. Um, we'll have our blog, my blogs out on various programs and things of that nature. So they, you know, just every so often, keep an eye out what's being said, what's being done. I try to keep my nose to the grind and keep up to date with the latest things going on in the world of publishing as well. Um, and I will share that information. Um, so at this point, I don't see any questions from the viewers, but I hope you will ask some questions. I'm here to answer the questions for you in reference to publishing and or marketing. In the last um, show, we did talk about different events that you can do. Um, in our author survey, we found out that sales of books have decreased um, per author, uh, which is a little disappointing. It decreased by 62 books per year, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you're only at 560 to 590 books per author, independent authors, as a decrease of 62 books 
is huge. Um, you know, you're talking about 10% de decrease in sales and stuff. So that's huge. Um, but at the same time, there's some good news because we're seeing that while ebooks e are still out there, still strong, and so are the audiobooks, it's up to the authors to learn how to use those tools and to get their books into those formats. Audiobooks are expensive as far as production goes. They can be pretty much $2,500 to $5,000 to be produced, but it is a good market to get into if you can do it. There are a lot of companies out there that are ramping up or have been established. Um, we are checking them out as we hear about them that basically help the authors cut the cost and be able to do it themselves in a lower impact way um, so that they can make more money and get it out there. In my book, um, The Author's Revolution, um, there are mentions of those type of companies in here. Um, this is a great workbook for any author who wants to really dive in and make sure that they're marketing their books properly. They know all the different programs that are out there, apps, services, things of that nature. Um, and yes, that was a shameless push for my book, but it's well worth it. Um, it's sold a couple hundred copies in the last couple months, um, simply because authors need to be aware of what the true cost of publishing is, how to better market themselves, how to look at all the little details that are important to be successful as an author. Now, for those of you who are on KDP Select, um, they officially represented you in distribution, but in reality, their distribution system was set up for their published books. Um, not the KDP Select books, but the books that were under their publishing um, companies um, that they specifically um, nurtured and raised and produced. Um, that really was the focus of their distribution system, but technically any book under KDP Select can be moved into that distribution center. I wouldn't count on it simply because, as I've mentioned before, bookstores that see those ISBN numbers that are associated with CreateSpace, KDP Select, Amazon, they don't like to sell those books in their bookstores. It's their competition. They don't want to be feeding the money to their competition, and I fully understand that. So for those people who are listed with KDP Select, CreateSpace, you can get your own ISBNs if you haven't already done so and stay with them or move into the Ingram Spark system, which is very easy to do. There was a while that Ingram Spark did offer a free transfer of service from one um, KDP Select into the Ingram, since it's the same format. It's all the same stuff since they were printing all the books for Amazon anyways. So it was a real simple merge that they could do. All they need was the new ISBN numbers for you. Um, so you may want to check into that if you choose to go that route. Otherwise, um, you can start off from scratch. Um, for authors who haven't gone to KDP Select yet, I recommend you don't. Go to Ingram because of the larger distribution that you have available to you and the greater success rate of authors who are in, with Ingram versus KDP. So keep that in mind as you progress and move and grow as a writer and as an author. Um, for those who live in the Houston area, um, at the end of the month, I will be at WriteFest. Um, I will be doing three panels there. And of course, I'll have a table there to talk about marketing books and things of that nature. So please get a chance to stop by WriteFest. Check the place out. Their website is writefest.com. Um, there's still um, tickets available for the sessions. There's a lot of different topics going on. A lot of fun sessions afterwards as well. Um, so definitely check it out. I've been there a couple of years, and I'm always thrilled to go back to them. I will be at Comic Palooza in Houston as well. Um, so feel free to check out any of the panels. I'll be there for, for that. You can check me out on my Twitter account at ballenbourgeois or my Instagram account, again, ballenbourgeois. Um, we also have a lot of other accounts, social media. So just look for B. Allen, and Allen is A-L-A-N, bourgeois. Matter of fact, I'll do another... Shameless plug for my book, just so that you can see the name, B. Allen Bourgeois. And that's how you can find me on social media. Um, still no questions. Okay, guys, I know you're watching, so come on, ask those questions. Just go to the bottom of the screen, click on Q&A, and ask your questions. I'm here to help you. Uh, otherwise, it is um, just a few minutes after 8. 
Um, I'll go ahead and talk about some other programs that are available to authors. Um, every year, for this is the fourth year they're doing it, it's called the Authors Marketing Event. It is a weekend where you can get together with uh, fellow authors, but most importantly with professionals from the marketing world that will teach you specific things about marketing your books. Um, currently, the cost is $199. It will go up to $299 as it gets closer. The event is July 26th through the 28th in um, San Antonio this year, and it moves around every year um, to give more people more opportunities to participate. It does include a banquet. It does include a couple other events and things of that nature. Um, it is a fun weekend. If you cannot attend in person but are still wanting to participate in it, um, you can purchase the same ticket and get full video access, which is actually a better deal in some respects, simply because you get to see all the sessions at your leisure online as you want to. And for those that do attend, they also get the pass so they can go back and see the videos to do um, as a refresher so that they can keep up to date throughout the year, make sure they're following the programs, make sure they're doing everything possible to be successful as an author. So those are available to you as well. There is also part of that event called Authors Marketing Certification, AMC. This is the only organization that I'm aware of that actually certifies authors in marketing. Um, and you can um, grow in three levels, um, basics, intermediate, and advanced. Um, and every year, if you attend a certain amount of classes and or watch a certain amount of videos, um, you can get the certification. Why is certification important in, in marketing for authors? Simply, it helps in two ways. One, it shows that you are committed to being a professional author and you want to be out there staying ahead of the marketing curve and doing everything possible to be successful. And two, for those authors that want to go the traditional route down the road, or even with their first book, we've surveyed publishers and nine out of 10 said yes, if they got a book that was exactly the same, um, same genre, same storyline, all that stuff from two different authors, but that one author had the AMC certification, they would give them the contract before they would the other person. Simply put, it shows that that person is committed to their writing skills, their marketing skills, they want to be a true author, and they're willing to invest the time and energy to do that. So definitely check it out. You can learn more on the website at http colon backslash backslash 2019.authors.marketing. Again, that's 2019.authors.marketing. No dot coms or anything of that nature, just 2019.authors.marketing. You can purchase the tickets and register at the hotels and all that stuff there. And we're constantly updating the programs. Currently, the schedule of the classes is not shown. It will be shown a few weeks prior to the event. But all the sessions are um, listed currently for all the different levels, as well as who's presenting, what their backgrounds are, and all that fun stuff. So we definitely encourage you to check it out and to do it. It's a great weekend event. Um, well over 100 authors attend, and it's a lot of fun just to not only learn from the professionals, but also learn from each other. There's a lot of great sharing that happens during those events. I'm jealous because I'm usually stuck behind the desk and I can't participate, um, but I hear a lot of stories about things that are learned and shared and, and developed through those courses. So definitely take a look at it. It's always fun when I get to actually sit down and watch the videos later and learn things myself. And I've been at it for many, many years, writing for 30 years, working in publishing and marketing for over 12, well, I think we're now on 16 years. Um, yeah, eight years um, in marketing, almost nine years now in marketing, and then the rest in publishing and writing and things of that nature. So it's always fun to learn new things. And there's always new things to learn in the world of publishing. It's not a quiet, peaceful, slow process. There's still a lot of things to learn. Um, if you've not checked out the independent bookstore called indielector.store, please do so. The bookstore was created for indie authors so that they can learn, or actually, I stand corrected. Well, yes, they can learn more about marketing, but more specifically, they get to earn more money from the sale of their books. Um, there's also a top 10 list that's shared with the libraries and, and, and around on the mailing list. Um, currently, that's 5,000 librarians that get to learn about it. 
Um, this last month when we had the top 10, um, 3,000 people learned about those books that didn't otherwise know about them. Um, more sales, more potential increase in um, profits all came from being involved in that store. So definitely check it out. Um, it's a $50 membership fee to be a part of it, but you can earn up to 80% of your sales. So you're going to make that $50 back in no time, especially because you're going to be learning some really good skills on marketing from that as well. So definitely check it out. Um, for authors who are not aware of this, we do have a radio show that broadcasts live on Facebook every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. And we just got our um, agreement done with Roku and Amazon Fire to have a independent authors TV channel. Um, so we're working really diligently to get the videos up on that. So that should be um, coming up within the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. We're real thrilled to offer that as an opportunity for authors to get more exposure and get the word out about their books and stuff. It is free to any author who wants to get interviewed. All you have to do is go to radio.indiebeacon.com and sign up, submit the request, and we will schedule you for it. We're averaging about six months out for scheduling. Um, so if you've got a new book, definitely plan to have your pre-orders done and your advertising done well in advance of the actual release date of the book. And part of that marketing is your radio, TV interviews, press releases, your book reviews, all of those things. Um, and our books do include that information. My blogs include it. So definitely check it out. And also, if you have questions, feel free to ask on here. And as I mentioned before, you can go to bourgeoismedia at outlook.com and send me questions, and I will answer them on the show here. We're at about 20 minutes into the show, and still, I know you're watching, so please feel free to ask some questions. I'm not going to chew you out or anything. We're here to help you. In the meantime, um, you should be aware of companies that are out there that are ripping authors off. Um, I'm not going to name them per se, but any company that says you can sign up for free and have your information up on a website for free, but then send you emails and say, hey, for a donation, you can get this program or you can get this service or you can get this just for whatever donation you give. That's not a free service. Those donations do have their fixed requests for a donation. And if you were to buy all those donations um, within one year, you're paying easily a couple thousand dollars. Um, I tested it out and I watched the donations over a course of time and I figured it to be well over a thousand, averaging about $1,500 per year um, on just the basics that half the time those programs were outdated, they didn't work, um, they didn't give you the support you needed, they didn't really tell you how to operate it, um, so it ended up being a waste of money for a lot of those systems and programs. So be aware of those. There are those groups out there that say, hey, we're here for the community, we're here to support you, and then ask for donations for this program, that program, and this program. If they're not giving you the information for free, or they say, look, we're a membership organization, and you know, you've got to pay the dues to help us keep things going, and here's the information you get from us on a regular basis, you know, if they're not one of those two types, you need to walk away. Um, there's a lot of information out there that's shared by authors, um, so feel free to go that route if you want to, but always question the information, make sure it's legit. Otherwise, join one of those organizations that do help with marketing, that do promote you, that do give you stuff and information without asking for additional costs and stuff like that, unless it's an event that does require the additional cost. Book festivals are a good example. Marketing events that are you know, at a hotel and stuff. Yeah, those are gonna cost. So yes, you're gonna have to pay extra for that. But in general terms, if they're nickel and diming you every week, you wanna stay away from that. Excuse me for that little belch there. Um, but be aware of those type of organizations. There's too many of them growing and because they're free, they get a lot of people signing up but then they become useless because people walk away and don't even get rid of their account or anything like that. 
you know, and it's frustrating for the other authors that say, hey, there's a big community here, I'm gonna get involved. Well, then they find out that community is really not that big because everybody's walked away because they got tired of being nickel and dimed to death. So keep that in mind. Um, if you need assistance with finding publishers, editors, graphic designers, um, proofreaders, all that stuff, you can go to IndieBeacon.com. There is a service directory on there. Um, all of those people are listed on there for free. Um, we are trying to get more and more people to put reviews on there so that people are aware of who, you know, the quality of the work. But no matter who you look at for whatever type of job you're looking at, always get references, always ask questions, look at their work. Get, um, editors, for example, all editors should be willing to do a certain amount of work for free. And by that, it's usually like a few pages, maybe a chapter, um, but it's usually a small amount, but enough for you to get a feel of what the editor's doing, what their you know, style is like. It doesn't match your style, doesn't match your writing, all that type of stuff. Um, so look around for that. Um, make sure it's a fair price, make sure they have references. But again, you can find a lot of service directory information on IndieBeacon.com. We encourage you to go there and check it out. All right, I feel like a stepchild here. I know you guys are watching, I see the numbers, I see the names, but no one's asking me any questions. Come on, I'm here to help you. That's what the whole broadcast is for, is ask Alan anything about publishing and marketing. So with that in mind, we have just a few more minutes left. Um, we've talked about Baker Taylor, we've talked about Ingram, we've talked about service directories, programs to be aware of. Um, as far as marketing, um, make sure part of that marketing package is you getting reviews. Now reviews on Amazon does not count. Anyone can say, hey, it's a great book and give you five stars and stuff like that. What you really need is someone who's qualified or supposedly qualified to give you a proper review. A review that can be published in a paper, a review that can be published on a blog that has a service, you know, a list of reviews that they've done over time and stuff like that. There are review companies out there. Um, Lone Star Literary is a great company to do a blog tour and to get reviews from the blog um, guests or the host um, on that system. All of these, of course, are gonna charge you for it, um, which is a shame because it used to be the rule if you had to pay for a review, it's not a legit review. Unfortunately, everybody's pay charging authors um, to get reviews on all types of programs and stuff. Um, if you're a fellow author, definitely offer to do a review of a book, um, and especially a new book. Um, hopefully that author then will use your name and your title of a book on their back cover. So it's a fair exchange. You're not getting paid for, but you're getting credit for it. Um, that helps you build as far as an author and as far as being a reviewer as well and stuff. So look at all the different programs, but getting a review, from a reliable source is very critical to building your marketing materials and your progress. Again, Goodreads is Amazon, so that doesn't count. Amazon really doesn't count. Um, you want a legitimate review service, okay? Those move you further up the chain with bookstores, with other outlets, um, with book signings of certain types, like the Texas Book Festival, um, the American Library Book um, Conference, um, all these different programs that look at legit reviews. Um, matter of fact, Book Life does reviews for books um, for free, and they also have a paid service if you wanted to rush it. Um, and they have, uh, matter of fact, in our book, we have a discount code for you that you can access. So definitely feel free to use it. Anything we can do to help you as an author save money is one of the programs we've constantly wanted to do, and that's why we've got the book out there. It does have links to some of the programs, so you can save money and make it easier on yourself. Um, it is expensive to be a published author, and there are a lot of hidden fees that you're not aware of when you first get into it, and you do need to become aware of it. It helps you become more successful if you know all these different things that are going on and different charges and stuff. You can plan out your release date, you can plan out your marketing program, you can have better control over your profit and 
hopefully just profit, no losses, um, when you get a new book out there or when you publish a new book. So definitely take advantage of those programs. Learn about it. It's here for you. Um, all right. And that pretty much should cover it. I thank you for being with us. If you have a question about publishing or marketing, again, feel free to email me at bourgeoismedia at outlook.com. I will be more than glad to answer the questions online um, during one of the shows. I'm here every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time on, live on Facebook or Zoom. Um, on Facebook, you can go to the page Indie Beacon Radio and watch it there. And again, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm here to help you. Thank you, and you have a good day. Authors, do you know the true cost of being published? In the Authors Revolution workbook, B. Ellen Bourgeois gives you hands-on tools to use and to understand the true cost of being published. He will also give you information about low-cost or free programs that are designed to help you market your book. B. Allen Bourgeois has been helping hundreds of authors since 2011, educating them on how to better market and sell their books. Buy the Author's Revolution Workbook exclusively at indielector.store 